In April of 2022, genealogists around the country will rejoice as the 72-year privacy condition set for the release of the 1950 U.S. federal census expires. I've had a countdown clock on my desktop for months now. This will be the first census my father appears in, and it's possible my mom might be included even though she was born slightly after the official census date of April 1st. Thank heavens for census takers who don't always follow directions. I wonder if I'll learn more about my great-grandparents or finally be able to find all of my grandfather's lost cousins who got married and started families of their own during the turbulent war years of the 1940s. For now, I'm going through my family tree on Ancestry and adding custom my tree tags to the families that I want to make sure to look for when the 1950 census becomes available. That way, when it is finally released and Ancestry has had time to index it, I can quickly pull up a list of everyone in my tree that I expect to find so I can work my way through them one family at a time. You might consider doing something similar. And that's Genealogy in a Minute.